Yo yo, welcome to lesson 24. Today, we're going to learn about CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it is basically used to style our HTML. In the previous lesson, we learned how to use the style property, which is known as inline CSS. This way of styling is quick and easy, but it is not scalable because the styles are not reusable, where we basically have to copy and paste for every tag that we wanted to style. Next, we have internal CSS, where we can create the CSS in the same file. To do this, all we have to do is add a style tag inside the header. Then inside here, we can specify the styles that we want for different tags. So all we have to do is add a style tag inside the head tag. So let's do that. So hit enter here and then add a style tag and then close the style tag. And then let's add the closing tag. So closing style and backspace here. Now inside the style tag, we can add styles for our HTML. For example, let's style the body tag of our HTML. To do this, all we have to do is type the tags we want to style. So in this case, we want to style the body. So type body and then next hit space and then open the squiggle bracket and then press enter. Now inside the squiggle brackets, we can provide the properties that we want to style. So let's change the background color. So let's do background dash color colon and let's set it to yellow. And then to end the statement, we have to put a semicolon. Cool. Now let's click run. And just like that, our body is completely yellow now. And now let's try this again and let's style the h1 tag. So to do this, hit enter twice and now type h1 and then open the squiggle bracket and let's set the color property to maroon. So let's do color and then colon and then type maroon and then we put the semicolon and hit enter. And now let's add 40 pixels of margin to the left. To do this, all we have to do is type margin dash left and then the colon and then here let's put 40 pixels and then put the semicolon and now let's click run. Cool, and as you can see, this H1 changed color to maroon. And you can't really see the 40 pixels margin because the text is already aligned centered. So let's get rid of this style here and let's click run again. And here as you can see, there's a 40 pixel margin in front of the hello world. So if you don't know any of these properties that I use, feel free to go to w3schools.com and then click references and click CSS reference. And then in here, all you have to do is just type the property. So for example, we just use margin dash left and then click it. And all this does is it sets a left margin. And if you want, you can click try it yourself. And in here, you get an example of how to do it. And we can change this up and then we can click run and it will update here. Very cool. So let's go back to Replit. And now let me show you the last CSS type. Uh, this one is called external CSS, which means we are importing a CSS file from somewhere else. If you notice, when we create this project, a file called style.css was created. So basically, we can actually just put our styles inside this file. By doing this, it keeps our code organized such that HTML code belongs in the HTML file and style code belongs in the CSS file. Uh, so let's go back to the index.html. And if you look here on line eight, we have this link tag which specifies the href style.css, which means it's referencing the style.css file. Next, we have this rel property which specifies the relationship between the current document and the linked document. In our case, the style.css is the style sheet for this HTML. Finally, the type property just specifies that this is a text file for CSS. Nice, so now let's copy the style tag and get rid of it. And then now let's go to style.css and let's paste it here. And now get rid of the style tags. Cool, now highlight the styles and hit the shift tab until they return to the main line. And cool, this is how the CSS file should look. And since we did this properly, it actually shows the color that we use. For example, yellow, we see this yellow box. And here we can also see the maroon, which means that Replit is able to understand our CSS code. Awesome, so now our code is very clean. We have an HTML file that only has HTML, and we also have a CSS file that only has CSS. Sweet, so back on topic. Last class, we talked about how annoying it was for us to copy and paste styles. So with CSS, we can create styles that can be reused. So go back to index.html. So tags can have a property called ID. So ID equals, and then we open the quotation marks and here we can give it an ID. So like the name ID, we expect it to be unique. So the value for this property should only be used once. With CSS, we can create a style for an ID. So for this example, let's call the ID Vincent. And now let's go to style.css and now let's go under the H1 so now let's create a style for this ID Vincent. First, we have to put hashtag and then we type in the name of the ID. So in this case, it's Vincent. And then open the squiggle brackets. And here, I'm just gonna paste some styles. So all we're doing here is we're centering the text, giving it a color of gold. And here we're giving it a font. 
where basically I provided three different fonts where if this font is not available, it will try the next one and finally the last one. And here we provide a border width of two and the border will have the style dashed with the color indigo with the font size 24 and the width 200. Cool, and now let's click run. And here as you can see, we basically styled this div tag with the ID Vincent. So let's go back to index.html. And here as you can see, we're using the ID Vincent. And here we got some dotted line border and the text is gold. And here in this case, the H1 tag did not get changed. So if we go back to style.css, we notice that this H1 is still there. So let's comment this out and now let's click run. And here as you can see, the text is now gold and not maroon anymore. Cool, so now let's comment this line back in and now let's click run again. And here it goes back to maroon. So what we can do is we can do this thing called targeting, which allows us to target a specific tag inside a container. So what we can do here is we can add a new line and then type hashtag Vincent and then hit space and type H1 and then open the squiggle brackets. So now what we're saying is we want to target the H1 tag inside a container that has the ID Vincent. So now what we can do is we can copy the color gold and paste it here. And now if you run this code, you're going to see that we targeted the H1 tag and made it gold. And this is very cool. Another good website to use is developer.mozilla.org. And I want to quickly touch upon specificity, uh, which I can't pronounce. Uh, but anyways, all this is saying is that when we style a CSS, there is a priority. So more specifically, we should focus on these. So number one is the type selector. So in this case, when we mention H1, H2, P, or body, this one has the highest priority. Hence, back in our code, when we just had H1 here, this one took priority over this ID Vincent. And now if we go back, the next one is the class, which we'll talk about next. Finally, the last one is ID. So ID has the lowest priority. Cool, so as a reminder, the ID property is unique. So only use this to style elements that will not repeat. Next, let's talk about the class property, which allows us to reuse styles. So now let's create a class style. All we have to do is hit enter twice. And now instead of using a hashtag, we have to use a dot or a period. And let's call this class a box. And now let's open the squiggle brackets. And in here, let me paste some styles. And all we're doing here is we're creating a box with a width of 300, has a border of 15 with the color green, and it has 50 padding and 20 margin. And now let's go back to our index.html. Let's get rid of these spans and get rid of one div. And now let's remove the styles inside here. And now all you have to do is type class equals. And inside here, let's put box. And let's copy this and paste it into the next one because we can reuse the style. And now let's click run. And here as you can see, we got two divs styled with the box class. And here we're able to reuse the styles without copying and pasting everything. So what if we wanna change the border color to red for one of the boxes? So if we go back to this tab, there's this rule called import and this allows you to override a property. But just a quick note, this is bad practice and this should be avoided. But for demonstration purposes, I'll just show you how to do it. So if we go back to our code, go to style.css and here let's add another class. So let's do dot red and open the squiggle brackets. And here let's do border dash color. And if you notice, Replit is really smart and it's giving you auto completion. So let's select border color and now let's just set it to red. And then we have to do exclamation mark important. So now let's go back to our index. And with classes, we can add as many classes as we want. So all you have to do is hit space and then type red here. And now let's run our code. Cool, and just like that, we overrode the green border with red by adding another class. So just remember, try not to use exclamation mark important because it's bad practice. And you can really screw yourself over when you have too many of these. And then you don't even know where the styles are coming from. Cool, so before we end this lesson, I just wanna show you something really cool. If you right click your page and click inspect, on the right hand side, you're gonna see this thing called styles. And basically in here, you can see the CSS that you created. So let's go to styles.css and scroll up. Notice how we have this body style and we set the background color to yellow. And you can see it here as well, background color yellow. And we can click on this and look at that, we can change the color very easily. So use this tool to play around with your CSS until you find something you like. So if you like this, just copy the hex code and then in here, just update this and then put the new hex code in and then click run. And just like that, we change the color. And one more thing we can do is we can right click a specific element and click inspect and it will find that element for you. And here, as you can see, we can see this Vincent ID that we created. And here you can see that this color maroon got crossed out, which means that it got overridden. So in this case, we overwrote the H1 with our gold color. So feel free to play around with this. And for practice, try to make your own personal website. So create a home page, an about page, create one page with three of your favorite TV shows, and also create a page where you talk about the goals that you wanna achieve. 
Try this out, play around with the styles and make it look cool, but don't spend too much time on this, just do enough until you feel comfortable with these CSS styles. In a future lesson, I will show you how to host this website, so that way you can send me your websites, so that way I can see what you built. Cool, thanks for watching, I hope you learned something new, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.